interview question and answer. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about one of the very important core Java multi-threaded interview question. And question is here, what is log interface in Java concurrency API? What are its benefits over synchronization? So let's try to understand answer of this question. Uh, log interface provide more extensive locking operation than can be obtained using synchronized method and blocks. Uh, they allow more flexible structuring, uh, may have quite different properties and uh, may support multiple associated condition objects, right? So, uh, whatever uh, uh, you have seen in this point, let's elaborate in a little uh, uh, bit more detail. So, when we talk about the advantages of lock interface, then uh, these are the advantages which is, which is kind of uh, basically elaboration what uh, we discussed uh, earlier right it's possible to make them fair means uh, log is an interface and uh, re intrant log like uh, one of the classes i'm talking about here re intrant log is implementation one of the implementation of log interface so when uh, when uh, you want to basically uh, uh, make thread safe of uh, thread safe when you want to protect your uh, some piece of code then either you can make you can either you can use using a traditional synchronized synchronization approach like uh, you can uh, synchronize entire method as synchronized or you can have a synchronization block or uh, either i can use uh, basically latest synchronization mechanism like re intrant lock which is one of the one of the implementation of lock interface there if there you have provision to pass the fair uh, uh, there you have to pass uh, uh, fairness uh, uh, boolean value so when you look into the reintrant log constructor there you can pass a boolean value as, a boolean value as true while creating an instance of reintrant log then um, basically thread a scheduler what will do that will treat or uh, that will take care about the fairness means uh, longest waiting thread will uh, have a first uh, turn uh, to allocate to the cpu uh, that's the point now next it's possible to make the thread responsive to interruption while waiting on the lock object and that you can do by using the method lock inter interruptively right that you can see in the slide second method uh, first method is a lock uh, that you can if you, you get an instance of lock right you can directly you can call the lock before entering into the uh, basically uh, critical section now third point says it's possible to try to acquire the lock but uh, return immediately or after a timeout if the if the log can't be acquired so here you can see there are two method try log one is doesn't take any parameter so uh, method try log which doesn't take any parameter it it basically it will try to acquire the log and uh, if log is not available then that will return immediately but there is one another method try log which uh, there you can specify the time that's why we have a time unit a parameter there you can specify the time in any unit either in milliseconds seconds minute hours whatever time you can specify you can uh, specify there and uh, when you use uh, try log with time then what will happen uh, thread will uh, thread will thread, thread will keep trying to acquire the log uh, uh, log uh, till the uh, till the specified time if doesn't acquire the log then thread will return right now next point says uh, it's possible to acquire and release lock in different scopes and uh, different uh, orders right so when you use traditional approach to synchronize any method or block you do not have control on the lock right but if you use a lock interface or its implementation class then you have more control on the lock lock you can uh, acquire the lock uh, uh, in one uh, scope and you can release in uh, another scope when i say scope means one block you can acquire a uh, lock in the one block and you can uh, basically release in the another block and that's what you have method is called unblock right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video uh, uh, if you want to learn in java much more detail then you can uh, visit our website kkjavatutorials.com guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial